we're gonna have someday like chat gpt ais in their own little isolated versions of themselves as characters in our video games so imagine you had voice chat in your game and if you ever played a game called like dragon's dogma imagine you could imagine designing a companion character to come with you through your like story rpg through skyrim through whatever game you create a companion that comes with you and gets its own GP, open AI GPT AI like thrown into your little companion that comes with you and then like throughout the game it only learns whatever it like experiences in the game so it's actually like its own thing that would be so freaking sick yeah what no one wants to talk with me about the fact that someday we're gonna have some open AI in our games that you could talk to you'll literally be playing Skyrim have a companion or like Fallout you know you have like AI follow you around in Fallout. Imagine those were open AI, like chat GPT models, but with voice, like text of speech. And you could literally talk to them in the game. And they will respond to you with human like responses. It would be so freaking cool. It's going to be really, really sad when you're going through like the Last of Us hospital scene and all of the AI have open AI levels of AI and they're all talking to you like, please, no! <laughs> That's gonna be really hard. It's gonna be a lot harder. Like, imagine going through a fully narrative game. Imagine going through a narr uh, like a very story-driven narrative game, and in the story-driven narrative game, you are sitting there having to like kill these people that you would normally kill in a game and be fine. Like, whatever, dude. But in this game, these they're like they have human-level communication with you. It's gonna be crazy. Yeah, no, AI, AI, chat GPT level companions in our games are going to be amazing. If everyone's ever played Dragon's Dogma, that's the exact perfect game I could think of. Is your, you create a companion, you literally create it, you would set like maybe a personality type, and it would give you a like fresh instance of the AI that remembers everything that happens throughout the game and everything you say to it throughout the game, and it will develop a personality and develop experiences in the virtual world with you as you play the game. And you're the end of the game, you literally have this companion that, like, learned the world with you. I don't know how they would make it experience the in-game world to where it, like, knows what's happening to that extent, but that'd be cool. That would be really freaking cool. That will change- that will be one of the- Whichever game utilizes that first with actual good gameplay will have one of the greatest games made ever. Then if your AI dies, hopefully you could just save a checkpoint and bring it back like, I'm so sorry, buddy. Like, you killed me. <laughs> Imagine it remembered all its deaths. So every time you die in game with your AI and your AI dies too, it remembers and it doesn't erase that checkpoint from its mind. So it remembers when you it died just as much as you do. It's like, yo, dude, that wasn't cool, bro. That wasn't cool. Like, remember when we robbed that store? You're in Skyrim, all right? You're in, you're in Skyrim and you got your little open AI companion following you around. And you're like, you walk into the room right like into the like the the blacksmith and it's a poor blacksmith in the game you know in this world he's a peasant but he's a blacksmith and you like start creeping around trying to steal things and your ai is like following you around like hey hey anthony that's not freaking cool dude come on he's freaking poor and the the blacksmith is also an open ai too so he also has his own like personality that's been training through the game as you play and the other ai is just like come on man you're better than this <laughs> but you're just stealing all the loot off the table. That's our future. That's our future of gaming right there. <laughs> all right. That would be fun. There's so much. There is going to be so much more like immersion in our. There will be so much more immersion in RPGs whenever they like. Whenever they get this sorted. Oh my god. I can only imagine the amount of immersion that there is going to be in our games. Dude, when it happens in VR, that's gonna be freaking crazy. Cause like if you uh they, like sort of online and stuff, there already are NPCs in those games that are like that, you know? Buddy is going to have their own personal customized assistant, maybe like chat GPT five or six or something. We'll all have our own specialized assistant that literally like learns as it talks to us after having like a base model. So Imagine you did just bring the same AI that you build with you throughout your life through different games that you play this So it's like you some you made like think about that Yeah, you have a companion in your game and then you play the next game and it comes with you again And it remembers the experiences in the last game you played That would be freaking amazing That would be so cool. What does that look wait what look? Our own katana exactly 
Programming for your senior design has been so much easier already. That's freaking cool. Literally our own Cortana, but our own game Cortana. Like, we'll have our own little gaming chat AI assistant that comes with us to multiple games. Your hard drive collapses or the cloud that it's on messes up and you lose that freaking... You lose your little AI companion. I'd be so sad. <laughs> people are gonna get attached. People are at 100% there's gonna be... There's gonna be attachment issues when people get attached to their little freaking AI companion. It would never, no, see, the thing is, it would be not like a co-op game. It's only in games that are AI, because you wouldn't be able to allow, you wouldn't be able to bring it, your AI companion, into like a competitive game, because obviously it would be cheating. It would literally be a god. It'd be too good. Not enough players to find a game. Is it really that bad right now? 